like your joy immediately. I should draw a crowd. Hopefully not a violent one. I wonder how I could keep them pacified while he gives his speech. sandwich out of her mother's ham, and she ate it right up. This is delicious, she said. Squeak, said a mouse. You're eating your mother's flesh. Awesome mice, they're always lying, said the wolf. Anyway, you can't be picky about your foods these days. Throw your other shoe at the mouse, and she'll never bother you again. So little Red Riding Hood threw her right shoe at the mouse and killed it. Never bothered her again. What should I do now, Mother? asked Little Red Riding Hood. Take off your clothes and get into the bed with me, said the wolf. What should I do with my apron? asked Little Red Riding Hood. Saw it in the fire. You won't need it anymore. So Little Red Riding Hood threw her apron in the fire. What should I do with my dress? she asked the wolf. Saw it in the fire. You won't need it anymore said the wolf, so Little Red Riding Hood threw her dress in the fire. What shall I do with my petticoat? asked Little Red Riding Hood. Throw it in the fire. You won't need it anymore. So Little Red Riding Hood threw her petticoat in the fire. That is good enough, said the wolf. Cut it here, next to me. So Little Red Riding Hood got under the blankets with the wolf. Oh, mother, said Little Red Riding Hood, what big eyes you have. Or the better for seeing you in the dark, said the wolf. This is not what I expected oh, the future mother, to be. said Little Red Riding Hood, what a long nose you have. Or the better for smelling you, said the wolf. And don't you smell delicious, my sweet. We've come to the end of our time. Tune in again tomorrow for another bedtime story. At all. See you tomorrow.
Now I lay me down to sleep. And if you don't, well, <laughs> one less mouth to feed, eh? <laughs> He's going to get himself hurt. Thank you. Thank you. I think they listened. I think they got it. I'm sure they're going to go home and think it over. This is the start of something wonderful. Here. This may come in handy. I don't dare tell people to stop taking their joy. But this will take away the effects of the joy all at once. So you can make them see. Go, go! Spread the word! Make them see! I don't think I've been in Hayworth Lab since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago.
Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but uh, I, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? Have you got your press pass? I uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Eau Courant. See if she's got a spare press pass. Oh, look who's tits up now. Don't think I've given up on finding you. Shaving an haircut. I love a game of hide and seek. Be off with you, Ed. I feel oddly guilty for not buying a ticket. office. That was fun, being a reporter. Receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? Excuse me, the, the door upstairs is locked? Just like my sisters, always pester, pester, pester. A lady can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. Pardon me, pardon me? Do you, so, you think someone could let me upstairs? Just bloody wedding. Oh, rude. Then I could get a coffee. Can't you see I'm working? I have a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. 
get some coffee soon. I'm gonna shoot somebody. I can't stand tea. I must have coffee. But if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Right as rain, right as rain. I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come too.
Let's see if I can get Mrs. Oliphant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Hastings. The whole place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. That were all true. Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk.
Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. What interesting things you smell when you barely see. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. <laughs> Just there to read the meter. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. I swear by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Ow! What the hell? Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place.
don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. <laughs> 